How's it going? It's all the news all the time. And there's some interesting news coming out today um, where we're seeing, is Johnny Depp, is he, uh, is he penniless and homeless out on the streets? Is he robbing people out on the streets? This is crazy talk. Um, so we're going to have a little look at Johnny Depp robbing people in their street in the street it's crazy uh, but we're also looking at uh, Shazam star Zachary Levi who's uh, sharing his feelings about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's defamation trial do you remember Zachary Levi uh, there he is uh, you remember that guy he's getting a bit oh, grey on the old temples there and uh, remember that guy yeah of course you do well uh, we're going to look at him and uh, see what he's saying about it uh, but just before that a little word from our sponsors the old uh, channel sponsors 80s t-shirts so get yourself some 80s t-shirts we've got some transformers some Chuck E. cheese and uh, all sorts of stuff down here we've got wrestling cartoons we've got later stuff like the 2000 movies let's have a little look at the 2000 movies oh yeah <laughs> the winchester uh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh yeah yeah i remember that uh classic the old harry potter um so yeah if you want to get yourself a uh, crazy t-shirt you get free worldwide shipping on orders over a hundred dollars it uh, really helps out the channel and uh, yeah thanks very much 80s t-shirts all right get yourself some t-shirts nice and uh so zachary levi uh there he is once more <laughs> he's uh he shared his feelings about the trial and uh what is he saying he's saying there are plenty of high profile celebrity divorces and then there's the split between amber heard and johnny depp the two actors have been battling in court for years and continue to make headlines in the wake of a recent defamation trial. This is true. And uh, the appeal has gone in from Amber Heard and a counter appeal has gone in from Johnny Depp. So it still hasn't finished. It's, we're still going. Um, but they continue to make headlines around the world. Plenty of people have weighed in on this public feud and now the Shazam star, Zachary Levi, there he is, has weighed in as well and has shared his feelings and uh, what is he saying about this he's saying um, there's a part of me that just wishes nobody would care about any of that drama as it unfolds because it's not pertinent to anybody's life really or making the world a better place in many ways I agree with him uh, in many ways yeah I wish people would sort of avoid all sort of uh, airing your dirty laundry in public or that sort of thing uh, but in this situation, I think there's there's lessons to be learned from this. Uh, I think it's actually quite interesting and quite important topic of conversation for people around the world, especially in relation to male victims of domestic violence. I think this trial has brought to light that, um, yes, yes, it does. It does happen to men, uh, not as much as women, but it does happen to men. It doesn't happen but it does happen and uh, I think this is quite an interesting and important thing to share with people and to make everyone aware of it so let's let's see what else he's saying he's saying I don't know man I feel like it's making us less empathetic ultimately we all get to look at these people literally like you're saying they're having a marital dispute I would argue that it's more than that we're all getting brought in on their sh and their traumas, all that stuff, and everyone just gets to sit around eating popcorn and judging the entire fiasco because it's entertainment now. Again, I get what he's saying, and I sort of partially agree. I do think um, I do think we are judging, and I think that's actually important. I think um, it's rare that you get a position or a situation where a lot of people can look at the circumstances and come to a conclusion. And what they're concluding is that there is harm being done to men and men are being um, injured and suffering domestic violence. Again, as I, I must keep reminding myself, not in the same extent to women, not for as long, not for as seriously, but they do. And so it is, I think, important that people get to know this. Does it make us less empathetic? Um, perhaps it might be that we're dehumanizing Amber Heard and seeing her not as a real person um, I'm sure she is a real person but I'm still thinking it's important that we have these discussions and we see this reality played out I think that's actually more important than um, than if we didn't do this but yeah we are sitting around and judging and many people are eating popcorn uh, but is it entertainment in many ways? Yes, it is entertainment. 
but again I think it has important points to be made for society as a whole and I can see a change in society has happened because of this uh, trial so I understand his position where he thinks it's you know just uh, tasteless to be looking into other people's marital disputes but I would say it's a lot more than just who left the toilet seat up so that's that's my impressions of uh, Zachary Levi uh, there is Zachary Levi's uh, thoughts on this uh, let me know what you think and uh, what we were looking for uh, today was um, is Jack Sparrow out on the streets robbing people with guns is is, is that what the situation is uh, I can't believe it myself cannot believe that we'll come to that very shortly and uh, what else is going on in the uh, crazy world of Johnny Depp well uh, you can buy or you could buy the Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl actual hairpiece for £13,000, 750 the actual, there it is, the actual one from the film. And that could have been yours, 13000 of your finishing, finest English pounds, which is about $16,000, I think. So there you go. Some, uh, if you're thinking of making a cosplay outfit, here's some good reference photos. You can work out the colour of beads you want, get your uh, silver uh, charms on the end there, lovely what this is i'm not sure it looks like some sort of uh what we used to call a fid for opening up rope but it might be for something else entirely uh that's some detail of the headscarf you've got this uh what looks like black leather lacing and that looks like an i ching thing yeah it is uh south korean trigrams this is quite popular and he has this as a tattoo uh there's there's the old uh, the chap himself sitting there He's like, oh yeah, that's a good. So you could have bought this. There he is. Uh, Thirteen thousand of euro, finest English pounds. What else is for sale in the PropStore.com? Well, you could have had the sword, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, the actual sword. Brilliant. Seven thousand two hundred pounds. Get yourself one of those, and um, be careful. Don't stab yourself. And uh, what else? Can you get Sweeney Todd, the da Demon Barber of Fleet Street, the actual. Razor, look at that thing. I don't know if it actually works as a razor. Um, you might say it's metal, and you can sharpen any metal. And I say, yeah, maybe, maybe. But I think it's uh, um, it might be sprung loaded, might be uh, steel, but it might not be. It might be aluminium. But that's from the film as well. There it is. So if you wanted to get your hands self, uh, get your hands on that, you could have done that, and that would have set you back ten thousand of your finest. English pounds. So we're now have a little look at uh, is is Johnny Depp out robbing people on the streets? I can't believe it. What is going on? Where what what uh, it seems young way there he is. <laughs> there what is is the legendary character of Jack Sparrow in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean has many fans. Recent reports surfacing that Johnny Depp himself would be reprising his role as Captain Jack Sparrow. Excellent. The Pirate of the Caribbean. Uh, I think there's more than one. But the poor man's Johnny Dupp, <laughs> or, or everyone calls him Johnny Debt, D-E-B-T, is the current star of social media. A video of a young man begging in the streets, there he is, uh, dressed as Jack Sparrow, is going viral on social media. <laughs> Brilliant. A young man dressed as pirate Jack Sparrow walks up to a car with a toy gun, extends his hat into the car after collecting the money. The beggar can be seen in the video walking away with a smile like Jack Sparrow. So let's have a little look at that 